Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm thrilled to have been asked to come here, and I'm very grateful. It's good to see so many people. It's good to be part of a conference and to be part of the movement that's addressing such a huge, hugely important issue, uh, but unfortunately it's so often overlooked. Um, as a London Assembly member and as Vice Chair of the Health Scrutiny Committee, it's actually my job to make sure that the Mayor is doing all he can and, of course, that the GLA are doing all that they can to improve the health of Londoners and to make London a healthy place to live and to have healthy, thriving communities. But unfortunately, we've got a long way to go, and I think it's a travesty that the Mayor recently published a strategy that is supposed to tackle health inequalities in London, but that doesn't look at hepatitis C. We all know that hepatitis C is a huge health inequalities issue and that overwhelmingly affects some of the most socially excluded and vulnerable people in London. I don't know why he admitted it. I know many of the organisations and people here today raise the issue with him, and I've raised the issue with him several times. Um, before the uh, strategy was delivered for us to debate, I wrote to him and explained various things that you would want me to say to him. So he can't say he was blindsided when I attacked him, as it were, for, for not putting it in there. I mean, I think it goes to show what a battle you have on your hands to get people to take notice of hep C, but it's great that you're all part of the battle, and it's good to see, as I said, so many of you here today. Um, we must all fight for more resource. I was uh, pleased to see Von Doyle was here earlier, so at least in City Hall, this is being elevated. I'm particularly struck, actually, by the statistics that are around that say that there are, we think, 40,000 people living with hepatitis C in London, which is pretty much the same as the number of people living with HIV, and yet everybody knows what HIV is, what the risks are, and there's been some excellent public campaigning on the issue. In contrast, very few people really understand what hepatitis C is, what it can do, how it can be contracted, and also very few people know that there is a cure that now works for almost everyone. It is shocking that it's not out there. I certainly hadn't heard about it until I was harangued by Dee, to, who, who insisted I um, listen to her, and I'm very pleased I did. Um, I'm inspired by the goal that you all have, and I know you're working too, to eliminate hepatitis C across London and the UK. And I will continue to make the case to the mayor and his team that we need much more attention on hepatitis C in the capital and a bold ambition to be the first global city to eliminate hepatitis C. How wonderful that would be. It's not too often we get opportunities like this. We have the medicines to eliminate a disease and growing momentum from more and more organisations and people to take action. If we get it right, we will transform lives. We will save lives. And we will prevent anyone from being infected and affected by hepatitis C again. This is an incredible achievement and an inspirational goal. Um, I know it's not an easy task. We've got a lot to do to raise awareness. Um, we need a huge amount of joined up working across complex organisations that are dealing with people with complex issues, including drugs, services, hospitals, prisons and GP practices. But this can be done where there is a will. And I've listened from over there earlier. There certainly does seem to be an awful lot of goodwill today in this room. So my message to you is quite simple. A massive, massive thank you to all of you that are working towards this, from all of the people that are suffering. Um, and please do keep in touch. If there is anything that I can do, if you see any barriers or problems that you want me to raise in City Hall, I will continue to do that. But if any of you feel that there is anything extra I can do, I can certainly call upon my friend Victoria Boric, who's in the audience, who has got more contacts than anybody I know. And sometimes with something like this, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Um, the people in this room certainly know the important parts of this. But if we can help, Victoria and I, in any way, we will. So I wish you all well. And as I say, please do contact me if you think there is anything else I can do. Thank you.